Make sure you have a respirator for, for sanding as well as for the epoxy work, some sort of vapor cartridge. Here the holes we're gonna plug up. They're the old bolts. Now we're using a backer plate and a flange seacock. Uh, so we're only going to need the three-quarter through hole. We're not going to need these bolt through. So we want to seal those up. Now from the outside we've used a Dremel. You can use a spade bit just to create some new glass. And now we just want to make sure we have new glass here on the, the lip. Kind of crater it a little bit so that the epoxy um, has new glass to adhere to. Before sanding, we clean with acetone. That way you're not sanding any dirt or contaminants into the glass. And then once we sand, um, finish our sanding here, we'll clean it again with acetone. Next thing is I just want to get any sort of dust out of the hole so we can kind of feed the paper towel into the hole where we sand it and really get a nice good clean before we put in unthickened epoxy. So you'll see us brush that and then we will come back with thickened epoxy. Make sure it's clean of any old sealant. See here, we still have some on the rim and that can just, we can sand that out. Uh, but we have fresh glass on the backside, on the inside, and then on the outside, we wanted just nice, clean, new glass that this thick and epoxy will cure to. All right, you've seen all these products before. We're first gonna do Mix up some unthickened epoxy. To thicken it, we'll be using colloidal silica. But first you wanna dab the areas with unthickened, so it'll simply just be one pump of each. You wanna make sure you don't see any streaks in it. That's just the unmixed resin, and it works quite well, so. Um, Let's mix that until you see the streaks. I'm gonna get rid of the oh, I'm gonna get rid of that streak streakiness.
It's a windy day today, so we had, we had to use a little bit of overkill on the tape, but we we'll, can now inject the holes with thickened epoxy. So we're using just a, a syringe to inject the holes, but even if you weren't able to do that, you could still just pick a little bit up and then just, you want it a little runny to get down into the hole. And just come in and, I mean, it's just, Any that you kind of miss, you clean up. Minimal sanding. <laughs> but again, you could use either method. You like to just come, come back. Nice little, just push the scoop up to excess. So that nice flush plugs, we'll take a look at them tomorrow.